Okay, so I wanted to spend a little time looking at transistors, specifically the N2222, which is a very common transistor. Here it is over here, a more modern version of it, right here. And then here is sort of an older style version, which actually is very cute. I totally love it. So, <clears throat> first of all, you might be wondering, you know, okay, so when you um, look at components and you don't have the specification, it gets a little bit confusing, right? So you read the writing on it and then you see it's an N2222. And so um, then you might say, well, okay, um, which is the collector, which is the base, and which is the emitter pin? Okay, so usually the base is the middle one collector to the left and emitter to the right if you're looking at it from either the flat side or where the three pins form a U. But if you wanted to test, um, okay, first of all that it is a bipolar junction transistor, which basically means it's um, got uh, two junctions, or two places within the transistor where um, the different materials connect and um, then the uh, base lead, which is the middle one again, becomes a positive and the uh, collector and the emitter are negative. So it's a diode, so the current needs to flow from the base to the, um, to the other two. So I'm reading this paper that I picked up online and um, it says to test the diode function you can put the um, the ohmmeter the um, resistance test portion of the uh, multimeter to the lowest setting then you touch the positive lead to the middle pin which is the base this is going to be real hard to do one-handed, but we'll do it. We'll try. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, back to square one. Forgetting about the alligator clips. Try to focus on this and do this at the same time. And so when I, when I touch it, see briefly. At the, the resistance displays, and then touching it to the other side, to the collector side, so it does the same thing. But it's only when I do the initial touch, and then it goes back to one. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that was in the positive direction. Now if we do it in the reverse where we touch the positive to the um, either the collector or the emitter and the negative to the base, you'll see that it does not affect the resistance reading. Same thing here. Well, hmm. Oh, I'm touching the wires. Okay, there. And it's not well as expected. It's not affecting it. Okay. Now. On continuity test. I don't know if the continuity test will work because there might not be enough voltage. Well, there is enough voltage going through. Awesome. Okay, and in the other direction. Right, right not. Not. Okay. So in the forward direction, again, connecting the positive to the base, which is the... I'm confused, where's my base? This looks like my base. 
I should get the continuity test to go, yep, on both sides, so the current's flowing. And if I do it to the, in the opposite direction, it's a diode, so the current is not flowing. Okay, good out.